हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय वर्चुअल क्लासरूम इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेस टू बी हेयर विद यू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री अ न्यू इंडिया सो व्हाट इज एन आरटीआई द आरटीआई राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन एक्ट केम आउट इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव दिस इज एन एक्ट दैट गिव्स द सिटीजन्स ऑफ इंडिया द पावर टू ऑप्टेन इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द वर्किंग्स ऑफ द गवर्नेंस and the taxes spent by a simple RTI application. So let's have a look for the video to clear our concept of RTI here. When you are involved in legal proceedings such as being at court, you should always be told what is going on. For example, who will be involved, how and where things will happen. and what your rights are because you have the right to information all the information should be presented to you in a clear and easily understandable way and you should always feel free to ask as many questions as you like until both you and the person informing you for example a social worker are sure that you understand keeping you informed throughout proceedings is an important way of ensuring that you are prepared because when things are explained you can better express your thoughts that's the power of the right to information the bharat ratna is the highest civilian award of the republic of india instituted on 2nd january 1954 the award is conferred in recognition of exceptional service performances of the highest order without distinction of race occupation or position honor sardar patel national unit award is one of the highest civilian award of the country equal to the bharat ratna swachh bharat abhiyan the swachh bharat abhiyan is the most significant cleanliness campaign introduced by the government of india it was launched on 2nd october 2014 with the tagline ek kadam chale swachhta ki or mahatma gandhi is the inspiration for the swachh bharat abhiyan in india make in india it is an initiative introduced by the government of india to help creative jobs and boost the economy of india it also urges the local as well as the foreign markets to invest in india let's have a look to know about the difference between made in india and make in india through this video yeah prime minister narendra modi announced the make in india campaign This very ambitious campaign has gained wide appreciation and popularity within India and worldwide. Hmm. We Indians are quite familiar with the term made in India. Hey, it's not about that popular song. This is different. It's Make in India. So, what's the difference between Made in India and Make in India? Made in India simply applies to the goods which are manufactured in India whereas there are mm, different perspectives to make in India sometimes it's a humble request for the companies or an order to make in India <laughs> actually it's an open invitation showcasing India's potential to the rest of the world we can be a great manufacturing destination you know till now We were not that much into manufacturing and hence we import a lot and export less. That means there's a lot of money going outside the country. If we become a manufacturing hub, we produce more and sell to the rest of the world and increase the money which comes in. That's exciting. To become Next chapter is 24 important dates in India. Read the information and identify the important days celebrated in India. Write their names in the blanks provided. One, twenty six January is an extremely important day for the Indian citizens. It is this day when the Constitution came into being in nineteen fifty. This day is celebrated as Republic Day. Two, India gained independence from the British rule on this day in nineteen forty-seven. This national festival is celebrated across the country. On this day, the PM hoists the flag and gives a speech. This day is celebrated as Independence Day. Three, 
This day is celebrated in remembrance of the birthday of the father of nation. On 15th June 2007, the UN General Assembly declared 2nd October as International Day of Non-Violence. This day is celebrated as Gandhi Jayanti. Four. On this day, birthday of our Prime Minister is celebrated. His love for children led to his birthday being remembered as Children's Day. Number five. This day is celebrated in India to honor the birthday of Dhyan Chand. He was a great hockey player who won Olympic gold medals for India in nineteen twenty eight, nineteen thirty two, and nineteen thirty six. This day is celebrated as National Sports Day. Number six, the day is celebrated across India on fourteen December every year. This Awareness Day is an initiative by the Ministry of Power in India. It is National Energy Conservation Day. Number seven, Kisan Divas is celebrated in India for highlighting the importance of farmers and agriculture community. Number eight, this day is celebrated to commemorate the discovery of Raman effect. This day marked the discovery of Raman effect by the Indian physicist C V Raman in the year of nineteen twenty eight. This day is celebrated as National Science Day. Number nine. This day commemorates the birthday of Swami Vivekanand. Vivekanand was a huge source of inspiration for the Indian youth. The government of India declared twelve January as National Youth Day in nineteen eighty four. Now come to the worksheet number three. A. Write T for true and F for false. A. Padma Shri is the highest civilian award of India. False. B. Sundar Pichai is the CEO of Google. True. Jim Corbett National Park is one horn rhino reserve. False. D. RTI means right to information. True. E. The old name of Angora was Ankara. True. B. Fill in the blanks with the correct answers. A. The old name of iron was Persia. B. Dash is the capital of USA. Washington D.C. C. Dash was a great hockey player who won medals for India. Dhyan Chand. D. Dash is located in Mexico. Shishan Itza. C H I C H E N I T Z A. E. Dash are found in Australia. So the correct answer is. Kangaroos. C. Identify the given images and write their names. The first one image presents the Statue of Liberty. The second one is Kaziranga National Park, and the third one is one and only the cricket player Gautam Gambhir.